I've been getting a lot of emails uh, inquiring about some of my solos that I've played. Uh, so I thought for my guitar buddies out there, I'd do a little video on, on Hello. It's one of the most popular ones. And uh, it wasn't a planned solo. It was one of those things. It was a one take solo uh, that we got lucky with. Lionel loved it. And Lionel, who is probably one of the nicest people I've ever worked with, really lets you know when he likes something. He appreciates his musicians. And I was I was glad that I was able to do that solo for him. Um, like I said, it wasn't planned, but and I had to actually go back and learn it after I had played it because people ask me to play it all the time. Uh, but just uh, analyzing a little bit, it's sort of like four different phrases. Uh, being a ballad, I started in a medium range. Uh, <laughs> I'd sort of go up. A little more intensity on that one, uh, just to build. And uh, then I go to the octaves. For variety, you know, just a color change and all that. Uh, I have to thank Wes Montgomery because his, his stuff works a lot. Um, then we go to the last phrase, which is leading into where the vocal comes in. So that uh, is a, I have to do something that complements with the vocal, uh, so we don't conflict with that. Um, on my single note stuff, I do a little bit of vibrato, just kind of natural stuff, more like a sax player or a vocalist would do, not like uh, not like a BB King kind of vibrato, but just to let the note, you know, swirl around in the reverb a little bit. And on my octaves, I do a lot of slurring. Rather than that's just more kind of stilted, and those little details make a big difference when you're playing. So, having babbled on about all of it, I'll play it one more time and see if it makes any sense to you. 